Heading into week 11, only a few weeks before the fantasy playoffs start. I'm Dustin, welcome to Fantasy Smack Talk. You know, in terms of week 10, kind of a quiet week as far as guys that are worth picking up that just came onto the scene for this week, but a ton of running backs, in my opinion, that aren't getting enough respect. And there's a good chance that one of them might be available in your league, so let's go ahead and run through them. We got a lot of them. First one's Trey Mason. Should be owned in all leagues at this point. He's clearly the best running back for the Rams. He's getting the most touches. He needs to be picked up in all leagues. Let's talk about the situation out there in Denver. Tough break for Ronnie Hillman owners. You know, it looked like he was going to be the guy from for the rest of the season for them. His injury is going to open the door back up for Ball to potentially take the starting job back over. But C.J. Anderson is going to be in the mix as well. So. If Ball is available, he's the one you're picking up, but C.J. Anderson, in terms of a guy that you can add that could potentially have huge value for you, you need to pick him up. He needs to be owned in pretty much all leagues, in my opinion, just until we see how this one shakes out. You know, Ball wasn't that great when he was starting early in the year, but this could be a great opportunity for Ball uh, to take that starting job back. Bishop Sankey's the next guy. I know at this point it's pretty easy to say okay he's a bust you know but there's still that potential there he's getting the most touches for them out there and I know a lot of people you know just look at Sankey look at what he's done so far this year say he's got his he's had his opportunity he hasn't looked good he's not gonna be good there is some of a learning curve in the NFL you can't just you know write off a rookie that quick there's still a chance that he does live up to some of the hype so for that reason you got to pick him up and in the NFL and with fantasy in fantasy in general, it's more about opportunity than skill, and I'd rather have a decent running back that gets 20 touches than a good running back that gets 10 touches. And Sankey right now is touching the ball, so he needs to be owned in all leagues for that reason. Terrence West, another guy, only owned in about 60% of leagues. He's the Browns starting running back. I know it's a mess, I know all three of them factored in week 10, but West clearly had the majority of the carries. Again, needs to be owned in all leagues. One other guy that needs to be on in all leagues, Charles Sims. You know, here's a guy that Tampa Bay doesn't have much going on for them at running back. You know, Doug Martin, I don't think they care much about getting him more touches this year. I think they might be pretty much done with Doug Martin. He's been ineffective. Rainey, I mean, he's shown some flashes, but I think they're really excited about Sims. I think they're, they want to get him the ball. Sims didn't look great week 10, but they gave him a decent amount of touches as far as it being his NFL debut. Again, Sims... Another running back that needs to be owned in all leagues. He's only owning about 35% of leagues right now. A couple guys in deeper leagues for running back. Alfred Blue. You know, I know Arian Foster is very optimistic about playing week 11. I'm not as optimistic. Blue could be a great short-term solution for you. All Foster owners need to go back to the wire and try to pick this guy up because he was dropped in a lot of leagues after Foster got healthy. And this one kind of surprises me. Joseph Randall only owned about 5% of leagues. If you own DeMarco Murray, you need to pick up Randall. Randall showed, showed us week 10 that he does have big play potential. He had a long touchdown. You know, there was a little bit of controversy at the beginning of the year if he would be the kind of the featured back for them or if there would be more of a timeshare. It really looks like Randall could have big upside if Murray goes down. With as many touches as Murray has had this year, you got to think that it's only a matter of time. Randall needs to be owned in a lot more leagues, and especially now that the bye weeks are pretty much over. DeMarco Murray owners, add Randall to your bench. Wide receivers, Martavius Bryant <laughs> does it again. I mean, only on the 65% of leagues still. You got to think that this kid's for real. I mean, that's four weeks in a row now. So this kid needs to be owned in all leagues at this point. There's a chance he keeps this up. Couple deeper league receivers, Chris Hogan for Buffalo. Buffalo has been impressive. Hogan's had five catches in three of the last four games. Now this is really deep PPR leagues where you'd be considering picking him up, but not bad. Five catches, three out of the last four. And then Jarvis Landry for Miami, putting together a quiet, quietly good year. You know he's not getting that much hype, but you know he's quickly kind of become the the, the second best receiver out there with the Dolphins. You know they're giving him plenty of targets. I think if you throw out week one, he's averaging about six targets a game. You know, any type of deeper PPR league, he's a guy you're going to, want to take a look at as well. Tough break for Carson Palmer. At least he got paid, though, just signed that big contract, so that kind of stinks for the Cardinals. You know, Palmer was, was playing great. 
and now he's down. But Drew Stanton's gonna get a chance. Now this is a guy that's got decent weapons around him. You know, this isn't anything more than a, you know, he's not anything more than a guy you're gonna consider maybe in 12 plus, 14 plus team leagues or any type of two quarterback league. But you know, he does have enough weapons around him where he could have some value down the stretch. Tight end Michael Rivera. We talked about him last week. Oakland looked terrible again. They like throwing to Rivera, and I know you can argue, oh, well, he only had you know value down the stretch when they're doing the garbage time. He caught a garbage touchdown. Well, Oakland is terrible. They're going to be in garbage time every single week, it seems. So you got to like Rivera in the second half of games to get some touches when the defense is playing back, get some receptions. I like Rivera for the rest of the year. My pickup and play defense is going to be San Diego, only going up against, only on about 15% of leagues, and they're going up against Oakland, who we just talked about. They're pretty terrible at football. This is just a portion list. If you want to see the full one, get on the website, get in the forums if you've got any questions.